the summer fiesta of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, if it is an event, is guided by several guideposts. This is the fiesta of 2021, 500th anniversary of the first Mass and the first baptism in our islands. This is the fiesta of Our Lady on the occasion of the 800th anniversary of the Dies Natalis, of the death anniversary of St. Dominic. This is the 50th anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines, the 30th anniversary of the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines, and 2021 is the 95th anniversary of the canonical coronation of the image of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, even before the Diocese of Lingayen was established by Pope Pius XI. These are guideposts to help us reflect on what is it that 2021 offers us celebrating the Feast of Our Lady of Manawag. And the Gospel is the main guiding post. The Gospel is important, although some scripture scholars might have other opinions about the historical value of the Gospel of the finding in the temple, let us just look at it as a prayer occasion and meditate on it in the light of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. This Gospel is important because this is the first time Words are attributed to the Lord Jesus. And what were the first words of Jesus as it were to humanity and to the Dominican family? The Lord asked Mary and Joseph, Why were you looking for me? Why were you looking for me? Why? Are you afraid you lost me? Is that enough reason to look for me? Why are you looking for me? You see my power, you have experienced my power, and you want to receive favors from your son? Why are you looking for me? The implication, my dear brothers and sisters, is there is only one reason for looking for the Lord, and it is not fear, it is not favor. There is only one reason for looking for the Lord, and it is love. That is why on the 800th anniversary of St. Dominic, we are invited to reflect together the theme, A Table with St. Dominic. At the desk we study, a table we eat. And we do not only eat like a fast food arrangement. At table there is fellowship. At table, there is love. You don't like to eat your meal with an enemy. You don't like to eat your meal with somebody who does not like you or whom you don't like. Eating at table and breaking bread together presumes fellowship, presumes love. And on the 800th anniversary of St. Dominic's entry into heaven, the question is asked of us, why? Why are you looking for me? And the only reason, my dear brothers and sisters, is because we have partaken of the same table, we have sat on the same table, we have eaten from the same table, and therefore there is love amongst us. The table for the meal cannot tolerate arrogance. The table for the meal cannot tolerate self-serving motives and ambition. That is why Judas had to leave, because he could not share the fellowship of love. Why are we here? It is only because we love, and we choose to love. And at the same table with St. Dominic, we know that it is not only the table of Dominic that we partake of, we know that the table of St. Dominic 
is also the table of the Lord. That is why we can be united because the table of St. Dominic, which gathers us together, is actually not original because it is the table of the Lord Jesus. Why are you looking for me? Because we have fallen in love. And the best way to show our love is to serve. And at the table of St. Dominic, as we are invited to reflect on his 800th anniversary, we are not only invited to sit, we are also invited to kneel down at the table and wash one another's feet among those who are seated at table. As the Lord did at the upper room, it is not enough to eat. It is very important that we also wash one another's feet because washing, serving is the proof of loving. And when we are so busy serving one another, when we are so busy washing one another's feet, then we will not have time for gossip anymore. If we are so busy washing one another's feet, we will not have time to bloat our stomachs or to fill up our pockets even more. We will not have time for gluttony. We will not have the time for avarice. We will not have the time for unforgiveness. Because at the table with St. Dominic, we are not only one in fellowship, we are only also one in washing one another's feet. Why are you here? For only one reason. Love, fellowship at the table with Dominic. And then the Lord proceeded with a second question. Why were you looking for me? Did you not know I must be in my father's house? Father's house. Where is the father's house? The father's house is not a building. The father's house is where his will is done. Because we may be inside the church building. But if we are disobedient, if we are hard-headed, if we cannot recognize authority, if we do not know how to say yes, even if we cannot understand, then it cannot be the house of the Lord. That is why the Dominican family puts a lot of primacy, puts a lot of value on obedience. Because if you obey the commandments of God, how can you be idolatrous? If you obey the commandments, how can you disrespect? If you obey the commandments, how can you kill? If you're obedient, how can you steal? If you're obedient, how can you be adulterous and impure? If you're, an obe if you're obedient, how can you lie? If you're obedient, how can you covet? Obedience is the source of all of these. And Dominic was right. Obey. Just obey. And the rest will follow. Because we would not even be able to love if we do not know how to obey. Where were you looking for me? The Father's house is where the Father is obeyed. And where there is obedience, God is there. God is not only where love is. God is also where His will is obeyed. And the third question was left unexpressed. Mary and Joseph did not understand. Mary treasured this in her heart. The question that Mary and Joseph wanted to ask is, how? How can we find you? And the answer of the Lord is, it is mystery. It is only by mystery, not by analogy. It is only by mystery, not by argument. It is only by mystery, not by scientific research. It is only by mystery, it is only faith in mystery that we can find the Lord. That is why at his deathbed, when Dominic said to the brethren, 
Do not be anxious. Do not be afraid. Because where I am going, I will be able to do more for you than what I have done here on earth. Mysterious prophetic words, but they are true. Because after 800 years from the time of his last breath, he continues to do wonders more than what he had done during his lifetime here on earth. Mystery. It is a mystery that after 2,000 years from the Lord's ascension, the Holy Spirit continues to guide us. It is a mystery that 800 years after his death, when he assured us that he will be able to do more in heaven than what he has done here on earth, it continues to ring true and it will be true until the end of the ages. The question, my dear brothers and sisters, that Our Lady perhaps asks you is the same question that Jesus asked at the finding in the temple. Why are you looking for me? Why are you here? Where are you looking for me? In a pilgrimage church? In a sanctuary? Look for me in an obedient heart. And let that obedient heart be your heart. How will you find me? You can only find me through embracing a deep sense of mystery. To understand that nothing can separate us from God. I will be able to do in heaven more than what I have done here on earth. I will be with you until the end of the ages. And the last words of the mother to all of us was, Do whatever he tells you. Why are you here? Because I love you. Where are you looking for me? In my obedient heart. How will you find me? By embracing and believing in the mystery of your presence. St. Dominic, help us to obey. Our Lady of Manawag, help us to love. Help us to trust. Help us to keep our hearts pure so that we may always find Jesus, your Son.